Welcome back, guys. Another episode of Talkman Tuesday. Angel and Sword. Back at it again with another Talkman Tuesday. Sawyer, how are you feeling? Feeling good. Um, the little red dot is on, which means we are recording on my end, so all is good. Boom. And, and that- Purdue is playing, too. Uh, Purdue plays number 13, Illinois, today, oh. so fingers crossed. Today? Mm-hmm. They are, I guess, the tip-off, it was supposed to be at 8 o'clock, but I think the game before was going a little over, so I'm not sure if they've tipped off yet, but, yeah. Is it postponed? What is postponed? What? <laughs> no, it doesn't. What? Where are you seeing that at? On the Google page, but does that does that mean, like, the time has been postponed? Like, the whole, like, a whole day? Like, a few minutes? I don't know. I was under the impression it was still happening. Oh, yeah, postponed. What? It was supposed to be today. I was all excited for it. That was going to be a good game. Right. I wonder With that being said, from the intro. Oh, it logged me out, and now I'm back logged in. What is this extra one? Uh, there, now you're in. You were going in and out bad. Hey, what is this extra one? Oh, wait, we're good. Sorry, technical difficulties. Uh, but welcome back. Uh, it's good now? Or is it not good? Sorry. Can you hear me? All right, now you're not frozen. Okay. I can hear you now, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Is it... I wonder what internet connection on. Okay, I'm not going to change it. like all pixelated on my screen. <laughs> right, we'll just go with it, see how it goes. And with that, it's had no difficulty with the And with that being said, <laughs> wrong <laughs> intro. <laughs> it's Tuesday, Tuesday, it's Everybody's looking forward to the podcast, yeah. Tuesday, Tuesday, talk man, Tuesday. Everybody's looking forward to the podcast, yeah. Wow, she can wow, wow. Wow, wow. So, is it for sure postponed so yeah, we'll like a later how, date? How good technology is. I don't know. We'll see. I mean, it's looking like because I mean the game should have started. The game, I mean, on ESPN, it's uh, it's just, just still says eight p.m as the tip-off time, but again, I mean, that's 12 minutes ago at this point, so it'd be kind of weird if it started this late past it. I don't know. It's a 50-50 shot, truly. We'll see what what ends up happening with this. Is it at Purdue? Oh, it's at Purdue. Yeah, it was supposed to be at Purdue. Hmm. And the last one was when we played Michigan was at Purdue too. And so I don't know, it might be like COVID stuff with maybe one of the teams or something. Mm. Who knows? That's kind of a bummer. But the number one ranked Auburn Tigers um, are losing in overtime to an unranked Arkansas Razorbacks team. And so if they lose, then Purdue, as long as Purdue doesn't 
Purdue it and like lose a, in a game coming up, we'll be number two. Oh. Woo! Oh. <laughs> Oh, and who's number? Who's currently number two? Duke. Number two right now is Gonzaga, uh, and I was complaining to Candace about this because Gonzaga plays nobody good like the rest of the year. Um, like they haven't really played a decent team since late December. Um, they just have like a super. They're in like a very easy conference, and so since it's all conference games, like they just destroy everybody in their conference. And so, as long as they don't have, like, a weird upset or something, like, they'll finish the rest of the, the season without losing another one. Sign up Bulldogs. Oh, I saw you two for two for gym sessions. Yeah. How are you feeling about that? Mm-hmm. I, I told Candace, I feel great. <laughs> um... I told Candace a couple of things. So one, I was, she was like, you know, you're going to be like, this was yesterday. She was like, you know, you're going to be sore in the morning. I'm like, yeah, I know. And I woke up and like, I was super sore, but it was one of those like good sorenesses where, you know, okay, I'm sore because I actually did something. And so it felt good to kind of have that back. But, um, I told her, I was like, you know what? I feel like I've kept making excuses all this time. I'm like, I'm going to just be really, really good. Um, for like a month straight and just hope that that kicks off, um, just like a, a habit of going again. Uh-huh. And so two for two so far. So I picked up this workout plan, this free workout plan online, and it's a five day a week workout plan. And so it has like the two rest days. Um, typically when I like am off for a while and I try to get back on, I'm like just full force into it and like do like a seven day or six day. And, like it never hmm. happens. And so We'll see if, like, my five-day and then just being able to relax on the weekends um, is going to turn out. So, we'll see. But as of right now, two for two, feeling nice good. Work. Feeling good. Oh, cool. I like this morning, I saw I was the only one signed up for was 5.30 a.m. class. It was, like, a big cardio session. Mm-hmm. I, had, I, I went back to sleep. <laughs> But so tomorrow, if you're, if you're the only one signed up for it and you don't show up, does the instructor still go? And the instructor's like, oh, that sucks. Probably. And the other thing... <laughs> you made the instructor <laughs> still go in. Yeah. <laughs> what a jerk. <laughs> there was somebody for the 6.30. But there's also a, a few people who sh- always show up but never sign up on the app. So that is a possibility that that happened. You're just banking yeah. on that so that poor person doesn't have to just go and sleep in their car for another hour. <laughs> hey, 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 you know how many times that I, like, signed up and, like, just canceled, like, last minute for, like, last year? It's so many, like, all those times where I was, like, 0 for 2, 0 for 3, 0 for 4. I probably signed up the night before. <laughs> So, I think I made a habit of, like, snoozing, like, signing up for class, waking up, <laughs> and then canceling the class and going back to sleep. <laughs> but I'm trying to change that habit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see how it goes. One percent at a time. There you go. I'm, I'm re-listening to the 5 a.m. club again. <laughs> Until I get to, like, the... There are, like, 66 days to build a habit. And I'm like, okay... <laughs> We'll see how that goes. Three weeks in. I think three weeks in. <laughs> snow, snow make it count. I think that's another week. It also just been two weeks. The snow basically hit the three day mark. Oh yeah, definitely. <laughs> oh, <laughs> um, you know how um, I'm, I might um, be obsessed with backpacks. The Purdue game is on. <gasps> Sorry. So this podcast will either have us being happy towards the end of it or sad during the end of it. Uh, but how you're obsessed with backpacks? Yes, for cameras and all that stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, my favorite backpack company just came out with a new backpack, <laughs> and it looks incredible. <laughs> so 
after this podcast, I might be ordering a new backpack. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but I'm trying to make a YouTube video out of it. So of course, I'll just fight. <laughs> Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Justify my <laughs> buying compulsive backpacks that I'll probably use like once a year. No two trips are the same sort. That's the, that's the marketing slogan. <laughs> oh, I, mm-hmm. <laughs> I I feel that. I mean, that that works for you. It got you in. Yeah, it, got, it definitely got me in. <laughs> oh, man. Oh yeah, it's like a uh, midnight blue color, and I've been watching the reviews of people who get it early just to review it online, it's like YouTube videos. Oh my god, I need to stop this. I'm just going more and more into like the black hole, <laughs> purchasing this backpack. And then my sister asked midnight me like the price blue. of the backpack, Mid? and she's like very like tight on her budget, or like she doesn't like spend so much money on mm-hmm. things that could be bought like alternatively very cheaply. And I'm like, you, you don't want to know. You don't want to know the price. <laughs> so don't tell it. <laughs> <laughs> so, At least you know that in advance, rather than telling her and then getting scolding afterwards. Yeah. So you're already ahead of it. <laughs> currently losing to Illinois. What? It's a long game. Oh, and... Huh? It's a long game. Is there anything you bought recently that made you happy? Um... Hmm. That made me happy. Hmm. Or a compulsive buy. They just saw it and you had to buy it and you actually bought it. Oh, I have plenty of those, but those don't make me happy. Yeah, okay, um, we'll that go with that. Sad because I get yelled at for spending money. <laughs> no, <laughs> I'm thinking about the happy. Um, I bought Candace her Valentine's oh. Day and birthday gift recently, which made me happy because I'm able to give those to her. So that's going to be my husband of the year answer on that. Oh. Alright, I'm going through the questions of like which you rather and guess what's guess what's currently um on like the side ads. Uh backpacks. Yeah. And not necessarily backpacks, but like the actual backpack I want. <laughs> That's all I get you. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, can't stop scrolling. They're, they're always yeah. listening. <laughs> always listening. That's wild. <laughs> you cut off for a second. Can you repeat that real quick? I think that's the funniest thing, though. Like, you just talk into your phone and you say, like, items. And you can just, like, say the same item over and over and over again. And then... You'll scroll through Facebook, and then there'll be a little ad, or Instagram, and there'll be a little ad for for whatever you were saying. I, it a hundred percent is just listening to you. Hmm. Yeah. Oh man, it looks good. Actually, actually, technically, it's not the actual backpack I want, but it's that brand because the one that just came out came out mm-hmm. today, so I don't think they even made those. Ads yet. That'd be a very quick turnaround. But I mean, they also have marketing teams dedicated to that, so they know what's coming down the pipeline before it's even coming, so it wouldn't surprise me if they had things prepped and ready to go for it. And what, the launch day is probably the best, the most number of buys people get, because it's like hot off the press. People want the newest thing, they're obsessed with it, like myself. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, I wonder if they kind of do something too. Like it's like a a pre-launch thing. Like, hey, February eighth, 
get ready for this, and then they have a bunch of pre-orders and stuff. They usually do a Kickstarter, but this one, they just launched it, and they're like, we're in stock, ready to go. 15 new bags, and I'm like, I just want one. <laughs> Maybe two. Maybe three, actually. <laughs> Maybe seven for each day of the week. You can't be seen as the same bag in a week. I have one of the duffel bags. And I basically justified it by saying it's my gym bag. It's in my trunk of the car. I don't necessarily use it. I just put like my jump rope and my knee pads in there. Or knee sleeves. And I just like bring it out. Bring it in. Yeah, that's all I use it for. But it looks so freaking cool. <laughs> Uh, we're not gonna What's the company called? Peak Design. Oh, I guess, yeah, you always say that. Oh, Peak Design. I just want to see some of their stuff. Ooh, I like their uh, kind of like a satchel messenger bag. Mm -hmm. I think it looks cool. Ooh. Like, that's something that like I would bring if I had to go to work in the office or something. The uh, which one? I had the one that I used to do. I, uh, hmm? Which one? The. Uh, um, it is the, I don't even know. Or it's the Everyday Tote or Everyday Everyday messenger? messenger? I think that's the name of it. Messenger. And then the ash color on it. Like, that's something that, that I would 100%, like, carry. The messenger. But, like, it I, was, I, I want to put, you. like, camera stuff in it. Mm. Yeah, they're definitely a uh, company designed for cameras, but a lot of people use their stuff, even though, like, like, I personally, now nowadays, I just have a phone and... I'm like, I could put, like, a drone in there, mm -hmm. but, like, I hardly use the drone. Yeah. When, when you would have to go to the office, Howard, well, would you, you have take your spectacles your... still? I do, I do have that, too. I almost forgot about them, too. But when you, you would go to the office, do you take your laptop every day to work? And how would you take it if you did? Um, no. So we just leave our laptops at the office, um, whenever, just because like you have to get through four different like doors to get to my desk essentially. Mm. And so it's in like an extremely safe space. So I just never bring it with me home. Uh, but if I did, I would just slide it in because I have one of those like everyday messenger bags. And so I would just slide it in there because I have brought it home sometimes. You do a slide over. <gasps> because people ask me, it was like, why do you have a backpack? I'm like, I just carry my laptop in there. It's like, <laughs> hey, do you still go to school? I'm like, I'm like I graduated, guys. I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> Easy peasy. And then there's a classic of like, and you're here? I'm like, yeah, I'm working. <laughs> Hey, it's like, <laughs> what'd you graduate with? I'm like, sociology and like, minor communication. It's like, it's like, what can you do? I'm like, study society people and then like, communications like, could be like PR and advertisement. And like, oh. And they, they own a small business, they ask me questions about the internet. And I'm like, TikTok, YouTube, Facebook, go with it. They're like, wow. <laughs> Look up social media. Yeah. Just Google it. <laughs> Google Maps. That's another thing. A lot of people look up Google Maps, and if you don't have photos of your business, I remember I put some lo photos of, like, local business, and they get a lot of views. I was surprised how much views they get. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, that's what we do whenever, like, we go into, like, a restaurant or something when we're looking things up that we haven't been to before. Like, we'll go into to Google Maps and then in the photo section and kind of just scroll around. And, and sometimes you can, you like, 
majority of the time, I would say. You have the photos that people who visit there take and then tag the place and so it pulls mm. it up. But for a lot of like smaller places, it's like the photos that they take to show people kind of the the area and stuff. So. Mm. Oh, this is an interesting one. I wonder if you've done this or not. Okay, sorry. Let me put a little tag in there. All right. Would you rather only need to sleep three hours a day without being tired, hurting your health, or only need to eat once a week without being hungry slash hurting your health? I would definitely rather only have to sleep three hours a day. Without being tired. I feel, yeah, I feel like, one, it's not that I would get more stuff done, because I would probably just, like, screw around in the time that I was still awake, but it would be nice to, like, be able to, like, if you had to work a little bit longer one night or something like that, to, like, not have to worry about going to bed and then getting right back up, like, you can still have your chill time, still relax, and then just go to bed for three hours and wake up and be completely fine, like somebody who had an extra five hours of sleep on you. So, and I like the snack, so I could not choose the food one. <laughs> it's like, what would you do when everybody else is eating if you only eat once a week? It's like, no, I'm good. Like, no, really, I'm good. <laughs> Whoa. It like, froze and then you just talk like super super fast so i have no idea what anything you just said <laughs> oh i was like what would you do when everybody else was eating just be like i'm good no really like i'm good well everybody has like their lunch dinner and breakfast oh no no i haven't oh, no. it did it again and now your camera's off it said your video's been disabled due to internet quality issues their video is still recorded Angel, Still record. I can't hear you if you're talking. Oh snap, now both of them are blank. Hello? Both of them are recording. Hello to all of our podcast listeners. We are currently experiencing some technical difficulties. It's kind of been the theme of this week's episode. Um, That's probably what I'll I'll put in the thumbnail, what to do when technical issues arise. Um, But as of right now, it says it's just me here. Um, But but yes, appreciate all of your patience. And he's back. (laughs) Yo! What just happened? (laughs) I don't know. It like cut off your video and then it said internet quality issues and then you were just gone. <laughs> I have no idea what's happening. We find out how this turns out. Sometimes technology is not our friend. I told everybody that the the title of the episode will be what to do when technical difficulties arise. Don't get Xfinity. <laughs> don't get Xfinity. <laughs> 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 No, I've got Comcast. Uh, uh, that's extremely. <laughs> yeah. I know. <laughs> I don't have to say it's Comcast. Yeah. But it's like it's the only. So the previous owners that were here, huh. um, they said that's the only one that like works semi decent in the house, just because I don't know they like had a bunch of reasons for it. So I'm like, oh okay, but we've got the. Um, Oh, what's it called? 
it's like glass or something, fiberglass. Mm. Um, I think that's what it is, fiberglass connection or something. So it's like they're high quality stuff. So I haven't run into too many crazy issues. Every once in a while, something like a little hiccup or something. But I feel like that's with any Wi-Fi, but. Oh, yeah. Let's see. So, would you rather be YouTube famous or TV famous? These days, it kind of seems like they are converging. Maybe you might not see much of a difference in fame level between the two, but it's definitely a different kind of famous. And your audience is way different as well. <laughs> I feel like. So each has its pros and cons. I feel like with TV famous, you don't have to create any of the content. You basically are obviously just like an actor or something. Uh, And so you just have to memorize your lines and do that. If you're YouTube famous, eventually you'll have like that team of editors and stuff behind you. But for a majority of it, you're creating the content on your own. So you have to uh, continuously think up new ideas and stuff to do. But I would, I'll choose to be YouTube famous, and then I'll be, like, YouTube famous for, like, playing video games or something. That way, all you have to do is play the game and be entertaining while you're playing it. And so it's, like, takes a lot of the the stress, I would say, about, like, a new prank video or a new, I don't know, travel vlog. Like, that pressure Mm. off of it. And so you basically are just reacting to a game or something. So that's what I would do. Do you know Mr. Beast? Yeah, I would never be able to do what Mr. Beast does. <laughs> uh, Four million a month on YouTube videos. Four million a month. That's what, that's what he spends to make the videos. And like, what? What? Yeah. And it's wild because a lot of like the sponsors and stuff that he has... Like, they pay for a lot of the videos and stuff, too, because apparently they get a ton of ROI on it. Um, And so I I saw, it was, like, him explaining, I think he was on Logan Paul's podcast, uh, but I saw, like, a clip on TikTok of it, and he was explaining, he was, like, one of his first um, sponsors, or or an early-on sponsor, um, it was, he was giving... X amount of money to strangers, and I think it was ten thousand dollars. And so they initially they wanted to just do five thousand dollars, but he told them he's like five thousand dollars doesn't look as good as ten thousand dollars does on the mm. thumbnail. And so they're like, he's like, if you can give me ten thousand dollars, like that'll get a lot more views. And like it just blew up. And I mean, it's little things like that. Like yeah, I mean ten thousand dollars, that extra zero on it, and that extra space, like. It makes it look a lot better than just five thousand. I, I didn't realize how much effort and time he puts into videos. Like he's been doing it for mm-hmm. a very long time. He's like, yeah, twelve, fourteen hour days. What? What? And then how many employees he has? Yeah. Oh. Mm-hmm. The way he talks about. Well, I mean, I I just remember it used to just be him like saying things. It was like I'm gonna count to. Uh, a million on camera. And so it was just like a X amount of hour long YouTube video of him just counting or like, I'm going to say yeet a hundred thousand times. Mm. And he would just go yeet, yeet. And like push his space bar to count up. And like the video was, is like just a very, very long video. And that's how he kind of started by like pushing himself to like do these random long challenges and then it moved into him doing last to leave the circle wins this car, last to take their hand off the car wins the car. And it's like all endurance stuff. And now it's a lot more creative to it. And he's giving a lot more back. But it's just interesting to see how he was able to kind of make a pivot from sitting down in his room, saying a word X amount of times to kind of where he's at now with his own restaurant, his own chocolate bar. Like, he's got yeah. a lot of stuff going for him. He's up there. Mm-hmm. Wait, sorry. Would you rather have your whole house completely carpented? Carpeted. Carpeted? Carpeted? Carpeted. 
Carpet. Carpet. That, that, exactly like that. Thank you, sir. <laughs> or completely tiled. That's what I'm here for. We're talking bathrooms, kitchens, bedrooms, garage, everything. Not the most exciting of questions, but yeah, you know, back in the day, some bathrooms were carpeted. Carpeted. No, they weren't. They lied. I don't, That's a very easy one for me. I'm gonna let you answer first. I I, I cannot see a bathroom carpet car, carpeted carpeted. <laughs> I'm gonna go with this. I guess. Or right, I can see the a bathroom being carpeted, but not like a shower. Uh, okay, I, I can see that. I can see, like, the bathrooms being carpeted. I was thinking, like, the showers. I'm like, well, what? You can't do that. <laughs> but uh, I've actually seen some bathrooms who had carpet. And I'm like, why Why would you do that to yourself? Or I would go towel, because... Yeah, I'm, I'm doing the same exact thing. Because, I mean, think about all, like, the mold and stuff. If it's in the shower... Like it's kind of get underneath there, and then like if you're in the kitchen and everything's carpet, like what if you drop something? Then you have to go in and clean the kitchen rather than just wipe it up. To change the carpet it takes a long time. I think what towel probably lasts longer than carpet. I'm sure. Yeah, probably easier to maintain. And then towel, I feel like it might not necessarily be that it's worn off, but rather they just want a different design. Carpet, it's like you have to mm-hmm. change it because it's it's done. <laughs> yeah. mm-hmm. And with carpet, you don't just change a patch of it; you change the entire carpet. Like that was one of the first things we did. We took out the carpet on our first floor. We tore it all up. That was not a fun project. <laughs> carpet is heavy, very heavy, and it's a pain in the butt to get rid of. Yeah. I can see that. I was like wondering, like, did you just put it on or no? <laughs> oh no! So when we moved in here, there was there was beige carpet on the first and second floor and up the stairs, like the same exact carpet throughout the entire mm. house, except the bathroom. Uh, <laughs> so that's what we were like. We're like, we're getting rid of this mm. carpet just because it makes it made it look so mm. old and stuff, and so we got rid of it. But yeah. Mm. Ooh. Would you rather never lose your phone again or never lose your keys again? Hmm. I'm going to say keys just because I feel like I have a way to get my phone. Like if you put like an air tag on it or something like that or an apple tag whatever that thing's called that you just like put on your phone and then um wherever it is you always have that locator and so if i lose it i'll always be able to find it with like just another device that has it hooked up oh yeah Did... so i'm gonna do that androids don't have like a find my android I'm sure they do. I just don't lose my phone uh, that often, so I don't really need to <laughs> worry too much about it. And I also have a wife who can call me anytime I can't find my phone, too, so uh, it works. I actually um, slipped this past week and lost my keys, so I actually have an air tag on my keys. And I found my keys in a pile of snow right next to where I slipped. It felt like when I slipped and I caught myself... It fell off my pocket, and I didn't notice it. And it was like a pile of snow, and I would have never noticed it unless, like, the ice melted. Because I heard it. Like, so thank you, AirTags. So you must have really slipped to have it on. <laughs> yeah. I didn't fall, though. I, I just slipped. I guess enough to, like, mm-hmm. the momentum to oh, yeah. get it out uh-huh. of my pocket. <laughs> <laughs> but last year... My sister lost her keys and she never found them at the store. So either like a kid took them and just ran with it or she knew she um, put some cardboard near um, 
like we usually throw cardboard and somebody else threw it. She like she thinks she also might have put her keys in between the cardboards and somebody threw the cardboards out the trash. But she never found her keys. That's mm. when we bought the air tags. <laughs> After that, yeah. so that uh, everybody has a set of air tags because of what happened to my sister because she there had to get um, a locksmith to like get her car open. <laughs> she was like, "Yeah, I lost my keys." <laughs> <laughs> so, air tags are are definitely super helpful. There's been the uh, the scary stories of like creeps that drop air tags in girls' purses at bars and stuff like that and follows them, but it then sends you a notification on your phone saying, this device has been following you for a while. Um, and so then they can try to find where mm. it is. But it, oh. Helpful, but there's always... Somebody can always find a malicious attempt for something. Like... Oh... <laughs> um, uh, <laughs> let's see okay right, sorry would you rather be unable to have kids or only be able to conceive quintuplets phew how much do you want kids zero or five definitely makes the choice a little trickier of course if you never want kids I guess it's a super easy one to answer dun 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 <laughs> That's the easiest question I've ever been asked on this podcast. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Give me a basketball team. If I have quintuplets, I literally can coach all of my children (laughs) in basketball. (laughs) I I literally, like, the Yezo squad, I don't know. I'll have my own little basketball team. Keep in mind that doesn't. (laughs) Well, hey, it's going to be a one type of thing. Like, there's not going to be two sets. Let's just get that very straight up. <laughs> I don't know why. I think it's probably because I've never had kids, and it just like entertains me the idea of like having ten kids because my grandparents had ten kids. So. <laughs> But it, it's sets of five, so you're going to be, like, thrown into it, then a little break, and thrown into yeah. it again. <laughs> I think that would make it a lot easier. Just wait till the first five are old enough to be able to help. Especially <laughs> have the second five. For a future wife, imagine ten years of being pregnant. Ugh. Yeah. Like how you shivered? Yeah, you won't have to experience that. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see if I ever change my mind in the future. Uh, but... <laughs> John kind of jokingly said that he also wanted to have kids and kids. I'm like, yes. And I'll just have this like weird thing where I was like, I don't know. It, I find it amusing to have 10 kids. Maybe because like. <laughs> I find it amusing. <laughs> it's like a challenge. Table for 12. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine going out to eat anywhere at a normal hour. That's, like, that's, that's not part of the budget. <laughs> when you have a family that size. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> We're taking, like, dates, maybe, like, one or two at a time. We're spending some quality time with you, okay? <laughs> has nothing to do with well, the financial circumstances. We want to spend quality time with you. <laughs> yeah, we've got our garden in the back, so if you're not on the date night with mom and dad, you're, you're eating the vegetables Beans, outside. Hopefully beans and rice. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Oh, man. Imagine, yeah, or, ordering at at a restaurant with 10 kids, I'm like, no, like, here's the menu, know what you want before we go in. <laughs> and if you don't know why it's time like, the server comes to you, then uh, like, I'm ordering for you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that, I mean, that would just be wild. Yeah, that... I can't imagine 10 that. kids probably... Maybe once a year, type of we're going out to eat with everybody. That's not a fast food restaurant. <laughs> mm-hmm. I feel like you almost have to like group every have like one birthday day where you celebrate everybody. Nobody gets their own birthday. <laughs> you would you would have to call in like can I reserve a table for five, for ten? It's like a big party. Like I'm just going out with my family. <laughs> it's a table for twelve. Yeah. What's the occasion? Uh, dinner. <laughs> no occasion. We just want to eat some food. <laughs> yeah, we're hungry. <laughs> Ooh. Oh. 
Let's see. Would you rather clean rest stop toilets or work in a slaughterhouse for a living? Both hard jobs with their own set of difficulties, <gasps> but which do you think you would be more suited to? Slaughterhouse or rest stop toilets? So I'm assuming with the slaughterhouse, you're actually killing the animals. It's not like a butcher where the animals are already dead and you're just chopping mm. them up. Yeah, makes sense. So would I rather clean up human feces or kill animals for... Oh, man. I feel like I'd rather... It's a very tough call, but I'd rather clean the restroom. Mm. I feel like I would get way too numb to killing, like, if I went to the slaughterhouse... Mm. And so, yeah, just for my humanity's sake. And I, if a little pig came in there, oh, I can't kill a pig. Nope, definitely bathroom. <laughs> Let's just hope people respect my bathroom. I'm going to name him Bacon. <laughs> <laughs> wow. There's a there's a, a little pig that, it was on the news a while ago. Uh, you could probably Google it, but there's a little pig that its back legs didn't work, and so it had a little wheelchair, and its mm. name was Chris P. Bacon. <laughs> <laughs> I always want to ask Candace, like, how was it, like, um, raising cattle? Like, you raise it, it's like your little buddy, and then, like, you take it to the slaughterhouse, and, like, it's me. Like, <laughs> Well, it, it's funny. I mean, every once in a while, whenever we go over there, we'll have steak. And then Candace will be like, oh, which number is this one? And Dad will be like, 22. Oh, hey, 22. Like, because they, they have to tag uh. the cows. Go on, raise you right. <laughs> um, uh, we had a customer come in and... Uh, she ordered some meat and she wanted it clean. So clean means like you, uh, the butchers cut out the fat, and then she wanted to process the machine. Mm -hmm. And but then when she like went to the cash register, she was like, um, "I told her I wanted like the the fat cleaned, but like there's still some fat there." So she thought like the butchers didn't clean it. So my dad like took it back to the butchers and he was like, "Well, we did clean it from the outside. That, that that's like the fat that was inside. So like we can't really get to it because it's like what's in the inside." And then yeah. um, the customer didn't understand that <laughs> she was like, "You gotta tell your vendors like that, that there was fat inside." And my mom's like, "The very kind and whatnot." She's like, "Yeah, we'll, we'll let them know." And I'm just like looking back at like you, you <laughs> like you can't just tell your vendors like we don't want like fat inside the meat. That means like that that yeah cow didn't have any fat to begin with. <laughs> Like, they're not exercising out there. Yeah, like, she wanted, <laughs> she wanted you guys to go into her ribeye steak and cut out all the fat that was inside of it, so it's literally just me. Like, you can't do that, ma'am. Like, that's not how it works. <laughs> I was like, yeah, this is not a fight I want to pick with this customer right now. I'm like, mom's handling it. <laughs> Leaving it alone. Mm -mm. <laughs> Wait, she wanted to tell, like, that's when you just smile and you're like, oh, mom. <laughs> Oh, how do you tell your vendors? Um, we had the fat in the meat. A customer didn't like it. It's part of the animal. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but we thought it was funny. Yeah. I think oh, I think that's hilarious. It's like, and you know that 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 lady was just very innocent. Like she didn't mm. know better, and so she just wanted to like bring something up to your attention. Like, hey, there's still fat, and you should probably tell people. And then it's like, but in all reality, it's like. Oh, honey. That's what gives oh, it honey, flavor. No, no, no. <laughs> yeah. If there was no fat, you'd find that. <laughs> that meat would not be as delicious. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I've got a question of the day by chance, or Do you like your meat with fat on it or lean? No. <laughs> <laughs> um. <laughs> All right. Wait, sorry. Do you like lean meat? Is, is that like such a thing? 
I like I like all meat. I'm a very carnivore person. Right? <laughs> you like all meat. If you give me any type of meat, I will eat it. If it's meat, it's good. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I, I, I'm not, like, specific to any type. Mm. I'm like... Um, but I liked your question that you asked me that I didn't really have an answer to for a little bit. Uh, about the what purchase recently have you made that makes you happy? I think that that's a good question because it kind of gets you to think about something for a little bit. So I'm going to raise that up because I think you talked about the backpacks. Uh. Uh, but that's what I'm gonna I'm gonna say as my as the question of the the week. Um, so do you want to change your answer? Do you want to keep your answer? I'm I'm going to keep my answer. I won't be able to think of something else. <laughs> I haven't done it, but I'll probably do it tonight. Tell me why I want to, like, have, like, hooks and just put, like, my three or four backpacks up there and be like, look at those backpacks. They look so nice. <laughs> I want those <laughs> nice-looking backpacks. The travel ones are probably <laughs> used, like, once or twice a year. <laughs> yeah, they look so nice. <laughs> the idea of traveling. But you'll, you'll be looking good when you travel. <laughs> the idea of traveling. Mm-hmm. It's great. <laughs> I, will, I will actually do it. Maybe once or twice. <laughs> but the idea behind it. <laughs> I like that. Uh, but but no, so that's going to be the question of the week then for everybody. Um, and you can let us know if there's a story behind whatever gift um, or thing that you've purchased recently that makes you happy. But let us know in the comment section if you're listening to us on YouTube or if you're listening to us on one of the, our uh, podcast platforms, whether it's Spotify, you name it. Um, you can let us know by emailing it to us at TalkmenTuesday at gmail.com. And we will read through those and highlight any uh, interesting answers or things that make us chuckle um, in next week's episode. Um, but in the meantime, we appreciate you guys for taking some time out of your weeks to connect with us. If you have anything that you want us to talk about next week, it's going to be getting pretty close to Valentine's Day, so we might be able to talk about that or, or again, any topics that you guys want to hear us go on and on about with our expertise. Let us know, and we can highlight those. Um, the technical difficulties was actually a suggestion brought up by Bill Gates. So, Bill, thank you so much for, for bringing that, you tech guru, you. Um, but we will talk with you all next week. But in the meantime, stay safe, social distance. Once you're vaccinated, then give someone a hug and make sure to tell somebody you love them. But have a great rest of your week. Thank you, guys. Purdue's up by six, by the way. Boiler up. Peace.